Previous lessons described the design of a simple gas turbine engine, the way it functions, and the physical laws that affect its operation. This lesson builds on those concepts. This lesson describes the components of the engine case and the air inlet system of an axial flow gas turbine engine. The axial flow gas turbine is one of the most common gas turbine engine designs. The figure shows the simplified airflow through an axial flow gas turbine. As you can see from the red flow lines, the air flows in a straight or axial path from one end of the gas turbine to the other. The purpose of the engine case in an axial flow gas turbine engine is to house and protect internal engine parts. The engine case usually consists of two parts, a top half and a bottom half. This type of construction allows easy access to the internal engine parts. Note the similarity of the engine case in this figure to the engine case displayed in a previous lesson. Another main component of a gas turbine engine is the air inlet system. Air is delivered to the gas turbine engine air inlet through the air inlet system. The purpose of the air inlet system is to carry clean, dry air to the compressor with minimum turbulence and energy loss. The outside covering of the air inlet system is called ducting and is usually made of galvanized or stainless steel. The exterior of the ducting and the inlet support structure should be painted to protect them from damage caused by corrosion. Salt air will quickly corrode any unprotected exterior surfaces. The air inlet system controls the air quality and directs a steady flow of air to the compressor air inlet. The amount and quality of air affect engine performance and reliability. The air inlet system has two main assemblies. Filter assembly. Inlet ducting assembly. The first component of the air inlet system is the filter assembly. Weather louvers filter. The filter assembly consists of the following parts. Inlet screens. Weather louvers. Inlet screens. Filter. The filter assembly separates moisture and particles such as light dust, and insects from the inlet air. This prevents contamination and foreign object damage to the compressor. The purpose of the weather louvers is to prevent direct rainfall from entering the air inlet system. Inlet screens, usually constructed of wire mesh, are designed to prevent large items and other contaminants from entering the compressor inlet. The inlet screens are located behind the weather louvers. Filters trap small particles of dust, dirt, and other contaminants to prevent them from entering the compressor section. Filters are constructed of materials that meet the specific operating and climatic conditions of the gas turbine location. The second main assembly in the air inlet system is the inlet ducting assembly which consists of the following parts. Bypass door, S. Inlet silencer. Trash screens. Air plenum. Some air inlet systems have bypass doors located just downstream of the air filters. The purpose of the bypass doors is to protect the air inlet from excessive differential pressure. High differential pressure is usually caused by excessively dirty air inlet filters or some other abnormal blockage of the air inlet system restricting airflow through the filter. Anytime the bypass doors are open during gas turbine operation, the engine is unprotected and is operating with unfiltered air. Operating under these conditions reduces engine reliability and operating life. Operators should take immediate action to determine why the bypass doors are open and take corrective action. The inlet silencer is a baffle arrangement intended to quiet the noise vibration of the compressor blades. The trash screens are the next component in the inlet ducting assembly. Trash screens prevent foreign objects from entering the compressor inlet. Trash screens are installed downstream in the ducting before the compressor inlet. Access doors are provided to allow cleaning and servicing of the trash screens. Trash screens are constructed of stainless steel and should not require maintenance other than periodic cleaning and inspection. The final component in the duct assembly is the air plenum. The purpose of the air plenum is to provide equal distribution of duct air to the compressor inlet. The air plenum is located just forward of the compressor inlet. One of the most common types of compressor inlets is the bell mouth inlet. The bell mouth inlet is a bell-shaped funnel with rounded shoulders that reduce air resistance. 
a bell mouth inlet is designed to direct the outside air to the inlet guide vanes of the compressor. In some gas turbines, the inlets are fitted with protective screens to prevent foreign objects from entering the compressor. Silencers are usually installed in both the air inlet system and the exhaust section of the gas turbine to reduce operating noise. Silencing is accomplished by baffles covered with sound absorbing material. In some air inlet ducts, the interior walls of the ducting and air plenum chambers are also lined with this sound absorbing material. Gas turbine operating noise is harmful to the human ear. Silencers help but do not totally eliminate gas turbine noise. If you work near a gas turbine that is operating you should wear ear protection to avoid hearing loss. Summary The purpose of the engine case is to house and protect internal engine parts. The engine case is usually constructed in two sections with top and bottom halves. Engine case design provides easy access for assembly and disassembly of the engine and maintenance of internal components. The two components of the gas turbine engine discussed in this lesson was the engine case. Air inlet. The air inlet system controls the air quality and directs a steady flow of air to the compressor air inlet. The amount and quality of air affect engine performance and reliability. The air inlet system has two main assemblies. Filter assembly. Inlet ducting assembly. The air inlet system directs the clean air required for the efficient compressor operation. The compressor air inlet is fitted with a bell-shaped funnel called the bell mouth inlet that reduces air resistance. The bell mouth inlet is designed to direct the incoming air to the inlet guide vanes of the compressor. In some gas turbines, the inlets are fitted with protective screens to prevent foreign objects from entering the compressor. Silencers are installed in the air inlet section of the gas turbine to reduce operating noise. Silencing is accomplished by baffles covered with sound-absorbing material.